YouTube, it is Joe Donahue bringing you the Brickles IndyCar Series season finale here at Wilson's Edge Speedway. We've got a field of cars here ready to take you to the finish of this wonderful series, season one. There's your pace car, a Mitsubishi. Fucking Mitsubishi. I don't know where that can. I don't know what it is. Whatever. Seth Dolby on the pole in the fuzzies. Vodka Chevy powered car. Outside of him, we got Big Brian LaFlair Jr., OBB, starting second. In third, Jersh Spur, someone to watch for the points championship for, as well as Broderick Banta. He's won the last two races. Starting fifth, rounding out your top five, Billy Jenkins, and in sixth, Mark Edwards. Shut up. In seventh, Mike Smith in the number four National Guard Chevy powered car. And outside of Mike Smith, we got Max down here in HP Honda powered Dallara. Following them, we'll see the two Penske cars of Kevin White in the 12 and Robbie Noonan get taken in the three car this weekend. And rounding out your field, we have the number 10 target car of Mason Wood. So with that, let's get started with the action here at Wilson's Edge and the Green Flag Waves. Seth Dolby leads him down. Brian LeFleur Jr. on the outside. He's going to get a nice run on him. But Seth will take the lead and will lead lap one of six. Here they come down through turns one and two. And now they're in the front stretch again. And Brian LeFleur Jr. blows an engine. And there's a big crash. Four cars out of the race. Big accident. And we're going to have to take a break. And we're going to see what the damage is when we come back. So we'll see you after a quick commercial break. This is such a gorgeous place. Juan Pablo everywhere. Yeah. It's hard. We are back to find one lap left on the marker. This is not NASCAR. We do not have green white checker rules. So there's going to be one lap left after all the cleanup. Here we go. Green flag's out. And we're racing down through. Seth Dolby will take the lead. And he takes the outside. But Billy Jenkins on the bottom. Billy Jenkins takes the move on the last turn. And we will win the last race of the season. So Billy Jenkins managed to take that win just out of Seth's hand. Seth had that win. He could have kept it if he would have kept a better line. I guess that's you just going to have to deal with that. Brickles IndyCar Series has finished their season. And Billy Jenkins will round it out with the victory. Excellent win for Billy Jenkins. Not too shabby for Seth. Hmm. Not too shabby. We'll take second. Robbie Noonan in third. He's coming back from... He didn't really have too many races where he were he was comp competing. Broderick Banta will take home fourth. After two wins, that's a pretty shameful finish. But it's still good. Mike Smith will round out your top five, getting himself some points. Kevin White in sixth. He will get some of the very few points he's earned this season. Kevin White just hasn't been having the season he wanted. And Mason Wood will get some points for himself as well. One point to be, to be exact, it is one point. With that, we're going to tally up the scores, and we will return to tell you who's winning the championship. And there you go. <clears throat> there you go, folks. Brickles IndyCar Series Season 1. Hang on a minute. Sorry about that. Anywho, so yeah, Brickles IndyCar Series Season 1 has completed itself. And we're going to take a look at your top three in points. Not the whole field, just top three. Um, if you want, if you're not in the top three and you want to check out where you finished up in the season, 
Go to iraracing.weebly.com to check out all the stats and statistics of the season. And I'll put a link in the description for you even. So, I'm being nice here. Alright, enough stalling. Let's get to the champion. Your number one for the season. Brickles IndyCar Series Season 1 goes to Brody Banta in the number 27 GoDaddy Chevy powered car. So congratulations, Broderick Banta, champion of the first season, with 30 points earned in the season total. Following him home in second, with 28 points, in another Chevy, Robbie Noonan, Indy 500 champion, will come home second with 28 points. And rounding out your top three, someone we didn't expect to see so far up, another Chevy, so they're all Chevys. One car team, Ed Carpenter's Racings, number 20, Seth Dolby will bring home third with 26 points. So solid effort for him. I know he always complains about how poorly he does and everything, so that's not a poor finish. Out of 15 cars getting third, there's the rest of the cars of the field that we used. Blurry in the back, whatever. Thanks for watching the Brickles IndyCar series. We'll see you again for next year. Plenty more races to come out before 2013 ends. Thank you for watching, folks. See you later.